Good morning, my friends. I'm out in front, and I wanted to do just a uh, uh, an autumn tour. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if I'll get to the backyard, but uh, definitely the front yard. And uh, I wanted to show you all my caladiums in their full glory and how beautiful they look this morning. Uh, these are both the Fanny Munson and the uh, Dragon Heart. Uh, I think there might be some uh, Florida pinks um, and then some pink cloud and those were the four varieties that I bought. I uh, wanted to show you also the elm tree is uh, still has loads of leaves on it. I have so far, this is um, October 17th and I've been able to pick up uh, over 33 pounds of leaves so far. I've cleaned it up this morning. It looks a little better. It was starting to hang everywhere. I did want to say that after the hurricane, we just got a notice that, um, you know, I see, you know, my neighbors have uh, their uh, bulk trash. Wednesdays are our, uh, for landscaping and bulk. And uh, we have our landscaping out but um, we were told yesterday that it could be two weeks until anything gets picked up because of the hurricane. But I just wanted to move a little closer and show you what I have. And uh, the leaves are just falling and creating a really great mulch down below these Fanny Munsons. They're just, you know, they're, they're at their peak but because of the two hurricanes, they're really, they're, they did take a, a battering. And, uh, but these, these leaves just provide a beautiful mulch. I did have mulch down, but they, um, they kind of blend in with it. I put my bird bath out again. Uh, the birds will enjoy it. I, I have yet to see anybody coming down, but because it's right underneath the bougainvillea i thought it would be kind of a protected area but it's also an area that now the the leaves fall on it uh i've got two four six eight um who do we appreciate no i'm sorry uh these two are just starting to come out and show little points but uh those are the florida pinks and then the fanny munson's and then the dragon heart are behind. And then these really pink ones are called a pink cloud. It, it almost looks like a dragon heart. I mean, I, I really have trouble telling the difference, except for the dragon heart is a, a deeper throat. We survived really well, with the exception of our roof, which is probably going to need to be uh, redone. And... Uh, Hang on just one sec. I'm back. My neighbor was just going by with the dog and you know, I can't resist puppies. Uh, this is our first morning, but it, it was 56 degrees out and there's, a, there's a, about a seven mile an hour uh, breeze. I won't call it a wind, but a breeze going through. Uh, I wanted to show you this side of it. Um, the bougainvillea are just starting to come back and hang and almost need to be trimmed again, but they're starting to bloom. They look so pretty. Uh, the driveway looks lovely with both uh, Fanny Munson in the front and then the dragon heart in the back. I'm ready for Halloween. Actually, not really. Uh, our neighborhood, we very seldom give out candy anymore. It used to be that we had loads of kids and now uh, the kids just don't come, and then with COVID, then it was stopped completely. Uh, and most of the kids in my neighborhood are, t you know, teenagers, and, you know, they have their own parties. But I still do just, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, and a few little things. It's more for Thanksgiving, I think. This was that pot that they were just starting to come up. It's really filled in really beautifully. Uh, these are the uh, pink cloud, I, as I recall. It's that it looks like a dragon heart, but this is a pinker shade. Some older things 
a wreath I made several years ago. I bring it out and I revitalize it and uh, try to get it to pull back and see if you can get the whole thing in there. I don't want to fall off the fall off the porch here and kill myself. There we go. And I'll just turn around a little bit. Ready for company in case anybody comes. Have my fork and spoon there. I put a uh, a caladium pot here so that when my neighbor comes, he's visiting his sister next door. As you can see, this has already been, this was uh, quite large and uh, my neighbor going by. Uh, this was a tree. This is a myrtle tree, a wax myrtle. And it really smells great. But uh, it was uh, higher than, these are hibiscus. It was higher than the hibiscus, and uh, it was it was starting to show signs of rot. And uh, is I'm let me just show you. You see the leaf? You see that branch? Part of the bark is just completely eaten out. Uh, they're not gardeners, and they don't choose to be. But anyway, this whole thing uh, with the hurricane landed and it was over about to here and so we you know we dragged it off and uh cleaned off as much as possible and he's hopefully going to have his son come with a uh, a chainsaw and cut it up and so that it can be you know put out um not too many people here have fireplaces so it's not something that you want and i'm hoping that um you know <laughs> they'll dispose of it uh, anyway, that was, that was, <laughs> I don't want to say anything more than, than that, but, um, you know, this is how I hide my, uh, telephone, that nobody uses a telephone anymore, but, um, how pretty is that? But I think it all looks nice, and, and like I said, it's a, uh, we're getting we're to the middle of October so we're we're really kind of closing it down and uh, I don't know how how quickly we're going to be able to get our roof fixed but I I certainly hope it's going to be uh, within a reasonable amount of time as it turned out we have a solar panels on this side and all of those solar panels will have to be taken off and uh, what we paid originally for the for the solar panels was about twenty thousand, and for them to take them down, store them, and then put them back up is uh, about eighty five hundred. And, and when they sell you solar, they say, "Oh, if you need to take them down and put them back up, we have a great deal. It's twelve fifty if you do it within the first ten years." Well seven years later the company's gone out of business so it's it's really you know it's a, it's a catch-22 you uh, uh, don't always get what you want so uh, anyway I will uh, kind of end this one here and just show you that that I think the yard looks really very nice and um, hopefully by the time we get to November our lives will have settled down and when I do the November tour we will be putting up Christmas lights so I hope everybody has a great day take care everyone and I hope to see you back real soon bye bye